sci-fi, the fantasies, wars, and we'll exclude the westerns as well. We'll exclude the westerns. Um, <laughs> stuff like You've Got Mail. <laughs> Cute romantic Ooh. comedy. See, now she's mad at me. <laughs> you but, which one? Which one? Huh? Isn't there isn't there one or two or not? No. There are two. One there's one, one, one in the shop around okay. the corner. Love Tom Hanks, love Meg Ryan, but oh. and you're really going, you're going after you're going after Tom Hanks. That's, yeah, uh, Tom Hanks. That's oh dear. I'm but, just going to scoot over a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but that is a B movie. Another B movie. I'm going to go with Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan again. Oh, that is exactly yeah. where I was going. Yeah. Joe versus Paul. Yeah. Joe versus Paul. Oh, okay. Right. Now that 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 Paul plays doesn't he? Then what does the title do? It explains what it's doing. Meg Ryan plays like 87 characters because they couldn't hire any more female actors, I guess. Um, the story is absolutely ridiculous. But it's enjoyable. And it's fun. Okay, Janice. Slam them. I don't consider any of those B movies. Okay, but give well, me one. Well, Joe versus the Volcano, I do. Okay. Okay, so um, I guess Hot Tub Time Machine doesn't count because technically time travel is involved. Yeah, um, okay. <laughs> but uh, as far as, you know, oh, there, there are a lot of really bad just comedies in general out there. I think you could look at... Uh, any of the Adam Sandler movies. Uh, I, have, I have my favorites. Like, I remember, like, I love The Water Boy. I can't yeah. tell you how many times I saw Mama's it. Mama's Boy. Yeah. But, like, so Adam Sandler in a movie, you're generally going to know, especially if it's just a straight up comedy. And you have the cute ones, like, 50 That's First Dates. But, yeah. Yeah, so, you go, there's some really bad. The, the one Sandler movie I liked was uh, Mr. D. Yeah. Well, that's what we make too. A lot of my don't. But you got like John Turturro, Happy Gilmore, you know, they're just ridiculous, you know. That's good. No. Yeah. You're gonna say Happy Gilmore? Let's go with that. Your heels with that shirt that said "Guns Don't Kill People, I Do." Kill people. Yeah. I am officially dumber for having listened to this. Okay, I'll give you one that actually I do actually enjoy. It's a guilty pleasure. It's a romance movie. Um. It uh, doesn't have a science fiction element. I, I, you know, I love Kate Leopold, but that's I'm not. We're going to discard, discard that. Um, I don't even know who knows it. Return to me. Oh, yeah. yeah. I love that movie. I do, too. I do too. Yeah, yes. I love it too. Oh, I, I love, love it too. Movie. But it, I think it was just savvy enough to qualify or be. be no. a, I'm not saying a bad B movie because no. I love it and we own a copy. That's like saying serendipity is too. No. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh that's right. <laughs> I got no? a run okay. of science fiction movie or action movie is on Big Lebowski. As great oh, yeah. as it is, that is such a B movie. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, we're at the Oh darn it all. We're at the we're at the end of our panel here. Are we so, really? Yes we are. So I'm gonna start with I'm gonna start with uh, Bane and you've got a minute to go ahead and give a shameless plug. Wonderful. You have great books, come buy them. <laughs> um, I'll be uh, doing a signing tomorrow um, at ten AM selling my adult series, which is Disabled World um, series. This is the first book to it, as well as my children's book. Genesis. Um, like I said before, I have a YouTube channel called Blast Processing Entertainment Network. I review retro video games, current video games, and I talk about all the just things that kind of plague us as gamers and geeks in general. Um, check me out. All you gotta do is follow me on Twitter at I have the power 82. <laughs> and um, that's. That's, that's my plug. <laughs> okay, Janine. Hey, so I've got a table here all weekend. I'll probably be leaving fairly early tomorrow. Um, if I okay. uh, Anyway, uh, so you can come by at any time to pick up my stuff. Or if you just want to grab a card, I've got them here. My first book is actually on Wattpad for free in its entirety, so you can go read it and see if you actually like it. Just drive up where you buy. Um, I'm a drug dealer that way. I'll let you have the first one hit, first hit for free. <laughs> and you come back and you buy the other ones. And uh, I've got a reading in an hour in room 533, I think, as well. So, and I always do giveaways at my readings, so you could win a book if you're there. Uh, yeah, it's in 533, and that's it. So. Okay, I have a reading just before uh, Janine does at 8:30. Um, I'll be reading from my uh, tenth novel, which is uh, now completed, Redeeming the Plum. Um, although it may be a while before it comes out, with going with the Asian and everything like that. But uh, you can get a taste of my Shards universe. Right here, you can buy the nine novels um, in the Dark Quest uh, table, which is right next to Peter David in the dealer's room. I also have a number of anthologies. So I'd like to thank our panelists for this wonderful. Thank you, thank you all for, 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 for.
Contributions? Leave. Get out. And we're on. And we finish on time.